Chapter 21 The Strong Smell of Blood You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 21 The Strong Smell of Blood Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, it turned out to be the mystic realm. Ha ha ha, to think that we will encounter such an adventure. I've only seen this kind of adventure in the biographies of big shots in the textbooks. We are in for something big. The seven days of hard work had not been in vain. The students were thrilled. Mystic Realm Lu Ming and Xia Yu glanced at each other, they could tell that something was amiss. Troubles were brewing. Lu Ming looked grim. What was a mystic realm? That was in fact the ancient tombs of the alternate world. In ancient times, some of the older generation could not afford to buy a house, therefore they went against the regulations to build a house in the suburbs. Strictly speaking, it was in fact a cave dwelling for cultivation purposes. After years of evolution as well as the energy nourishment and changes on the horizon, these cave dwellings were eventually preserved and formed a unique presence, mystic realm. Some of the mystic realms were indeed like paradise, with boundless treasures. While some of the mystic realms were ancient tombs where the older generation rest in peace, these places were full of dangers. These mystic realms might be full of dangers with many different traps inside of them. After all, these were the cultivator's lairs. Right now, people would install security doors at home. What about ancient times? Those cultivators were not fools. Therefore, the mystic realms would be equipped with all sorts of traps and ancient power. However, in any case, there was something common about all mystic realms. After years of evolution and nourishment of energy, it had an abundance of energy and the cultivation speed was 100 times faster than the outside world. Furthermore, the place contained the legacy of its predecessors. Perhaps. Ordinary things become extraordinary after countless years of energy nourishment. Take for example the ancient tombs from past lives. Those ordinary bottles and cans when unearthed had become treasures. Since there was energy in this place, whatever was inside the mystic realm must have been even more precious. Therefore, whenever a new mystic realm was found, it created a huge sensation. Whenever a new mystic realm was found, it was a golden opportunity. Mystic realms were places that all cultivators dreamed of. However, unlike those excited students, Lu Ming felt that something was amiss. The reason being Fu Hongming deliberately told everyone of the so dot called mystic realm. What did this mean? Lu Ming and Xia Yu glanced at each other. They knew that it meant that Fu Hongming had yet to get what he wanted. This meant that they were still after whatever they sought. They might even make use of the students to get it. If these guys wanted to make it out of here alive, they might even kill all the students to silence them. This was the most terrible scenario. Was there really a mystic realm? He did not believe it. Tell me this is an illusion. Xia Yu looked solemn. His intuition told him that something was very wrong. I hope that it is an illusion as well. Lu Ming gave a deep sigh. It seemed that he had to change his plans. Instead of waiting for the group to kill them secretly, he should take the initiative to expose their true colors. At the thought of this, Lu Ming posed a question to Fu Hongming who was standing far away. Are you the only three people to escape? Yes. Fu Hongming looked ashamed of himself. Although I wanted to save them, everything collapsed in an instant. We could only keep running, we could not afford to stop. That's not right. Lu Ming shook his head. The first skill that I picked up was to enhance my sense of perception. Therefore I can detect a strong smell of blood on all of you. I'm curious. Lu Ming looked at them. Since you did not have any contact with those workers, why is there such a rich smell of blood on all of you? Common folks would not be able to see it. But I could sense it strongly. Whoosh! The mine cave quietened down all of a sudden. 
the two teachers came to their senses at this moment. Bloody smell. Strong perception. They became fully alert. Could it be that there was really a problem? At the thought of this, teacher and looked toward the three workers suspiciously. Although they felt thrilled that there was a mystic realm, they were not fools. They would not be duped easily. How do you explain that? Teacher N's tone was cold. He could not tell that there was a bloody smell, but he believed his students. Whoosh! There was a dreadful silence in the mine cave. The atmosphere was deadly and tense in the mine cave. A war might break out any time. Everyone fixed their gaze on the workers, hoping that they would give an explanation. After all, this concerned the mystic realm. They hoped that it was indeed the mystic realm. After all, that was a golden opportunity. This was a good chance for cultivators who ranked at the bottom to change their destiny. I, Fu Hongming seemed to be put in a difficult position. Do I really have to say it? Tell us. Teacher N's expression darkened. Otherwise, Noel Deren he was getting ready for a fight. All right. Fu Hongming gritted his teeth and pushed the worker next to him to the front. The worker had been keeping quiet all the while. You can tell them yourself. Dot. The worker came forward shyly and bowed to everyone. S. Ori, the voice. Everyone widened their eyes in shock. It was a female. I, the worker looked aggrieved. I had. My period these past two days. I'm sorry. Everyone looked exasperated. Whoosh. Everyone looked toward Lu Ming. How was this considered as having a strong sense of perception? Strong smell of blood. Come to think of it, it was indeed true. This. Teacher and was between laughter and tears. What was this? That was right. Under normal circumstances, no one would have thought that there would be a woman among all the workers. After all, the factory usually recruited men to work as mine cave workers. I'm sorry. Fu Hongming explained to everyone. This is my younger sister Fu Hongyan. We have worked in this mine for many years. I can take hardships. The work is nothing to me. But I don't want anything to happen to my younger sister. Therefore, I usually tell her not to speak. I did not expect that it would cause a misunderstanding. It's okay. Teacher and apologized. We have been thinking too much. It's not right. Lu Ming still had his doubts. Other than her, the two of you also reek of blood. Sigh. Everyone was stunned. There was more to it. Oh. Brother, the two of you have blood on your back. Fu Hongyan was alarmed. Is there blood? Fu Hongming turned around. Everyone noticed that there was a slash of blood on his back. It was the same with the other worker. Ah, some of the female students were scared stiff. Hey, when did this happen? Fu Hongming scratched his head. I may have been grazed by the falling stones when we ran for our lives. We could only think about escaping. It was really frightening. There was no blood just now. Fu Hongyan felt worried for her brother. The blood could have just oozed out. Fu Hongming had an honest smile on his face. Don't worry. I have thick skin. I will be fine in a while. So, that was the case. Everyone finally knew what was going on. I'm sorry. I have caused trouble for all of you. Fu Hongming felt embarrassed. It's all right. It's just a misunderstanding. And Mufeng made an apology before continuing to discuss about the mystic realm. What else have you heard? Teacher and was somewhat excited. He knew that. With the mystic realm. All the responsibilities of this program would turn into rewards. Originally, even if there were no casualties or deaths among the students, he knew that he had to take the blame for what happened. But now that they had discovered the mystic realm, this would be a very big credit. Well. 
Fu Hongming recalled. The people seemed to have seen two words. Someone shouted something before dying. I think. It seems to be lunar radiance or lunar shadow. Lunar radiance. Lunar shadow. Teacher and was thrilled. It was indeed true. There was indeed a senior by the name of Lunar Shadow. Qing Ming City was his hometown. There was a legend that he used to have a mansion house here. It was just that no one had discovered it. He never expected that after years of evolution, the place would turn into a mine. Lunar Shadow's mansion house that was right at the mine. It was no wonder. Teacher and was excited. All of the students were thrilled as well. This was the first time that they were so close to the legend. Lu Ming who was at the center of attention just now had been ignored totally. He quietly stepped back to his spot among the students. Did you see it clearly? He looked at Xia Yu. Yes. Xia Yu nodded slightly. When everyone's attention was on the female worker, the two people slashed each other. So brutal. Lu Ming looked grim. They hurt each other so that Lu Ming would no longer be suspicious of them. They came up with their own stories and everyone believed their explanation. How could he possibly raise further doubts about them? However, to Lu Ming, this in fact confirmed his doubts about them. He and Xia Yu had some doubts, therefore they prepared themselves in advance. Now it seemed that the few people were indeed very suspicious. When did you learn to improve your sense of perception? Xia Yu had some doubts. In his impression, Lu Ming was a card creator, it had nothing to do with increasing one's sense of perception. I haven't studied it before. I just said it randomly, Lu Ming replied. Xia Yu. It seems that we have no other way. Xia Yu felt helpless. The enemy was strong and crafty. Although they wanted to fight them head dot on, the enemy could not be bothered with them. Even if they started a fight, they might be stopped by the teacher. By then, it would be even more troublesome. Therefore, they could only use the stupidest method, to wait until the enemy exposed themselves before they did anything. Let me think. Perhaps I have a better way. Give me a minute. Lu Ming was suddenly reminded of the big shot in his body. Perhaps there was a better solution. Hence. He went into his sea of consciousness, and discovered that the big shot was gnawing at the original card. Brother Cat. Lu Ming asked cautiously. The black cat cast a sideways glance at Lu Ming before it lowered its head to gnaw the card. Brother Cat. Lu Ming said, it's time for us to vent our frustrations. Black Cat. Dot. Hey, hey. Lu Ming coughed. Brother Cat, the big shot in other people lends a helping hand when the host is in danger. Are you willing to help? Black Cat. Dot. Do you not understand? Lu Ming scratched his head, trying to explain. I am talking about. Fusing together. You can lend me your energy. This will help to eventually remove the seal that is on you. Dot. The black cat looked blankly at him. No, Lu Ming felt very disappointed, letting out a sigh. What's the use of having you around? Bam. The black cat slapped its paws and Lu Ming was sent flying, hanging on the border of his sea of consciousness. There was no way that he could get back in. His consciousness dissipated. Lu Ming had to return to reality. What about your good method? Xia Yu was waiting for him. It's gone. Lu Ming sighed. Xia Yu. Dot. But he had sounded very confident about it. Chapter 22 Do you know how strong my energy shield is? You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter 22 do you know how strong my energy shield is? Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios in the Mine Fu Hongming and Teacher and were discussing the mystic realm. 
Lu Ming and Xia Yu thought about it and realized that their only option was to wait for the workers to reveal their true colors. These people forged a false mystic realm and fooled everyone to the place. They were apparently thinking of getting the students to help them get what they wanted. Therefore, when it was time to get what they wanted, they would definitely show their true colors. By then, Lu Ming and Xia Yu would act to stop their ambush. As long as they could hold them off until the two teachers realized that it was a trap, everything would be fine. The only problem right now was. The two of them alone were not enough. I have a friend. Lu Ming was reminded of a guy. He is ugly, stupid and foolish, and there is something wrong with his brain. But his ability might be of some use to us. I also have a friend, Xia Yu thought then continued, he will believe my words. Very well, Lu Ming agreed. Let's get ourselves prepared. After speaking, the two figures quietly blended into the students. They had to prepare themselves for the possible crisis. At the moment, those people were still talking about the mystic realm. Perhaps. It was not that they were unaware of the minor problems, it was that they refused to admit them. After all, it was the mystic realm. Even if there was only 1% chance, they would not give up. If the mystic realm was real, so what if it had other issues? When will the school management arrive? Fu Hongming scratched his head and asked. It is very stuffy here. Three hours. Teacher and looked at the time. According to the schedule, the school would send people to pick them up almost three hours later. They would realize that something had happened and would work to rescue them. Oh. Fu Hongming seemed simple and honest. I hope the school management will come as soon as possible to rescue all of us. This was the second time that he stressed about the school management. Right then. Those students also seemed to realize something. If the school management is here, does it mean that the mystic realm will have nothing to do with us? Whoosh. Everyone came to their senses. They finally realized the problem. Yes, that was right. If they waited for the leaders to come, the mystic realm would have nothing to do with them. These mystic realms would become a source of wealth for the school. It had nothing to do with the people who first discovered them or had been through disasters. No, I am going to the mystic realm. Me too. Even if we cannot take the treasures there, at the very least, we could cultivate there. The students started to get noisy. The two teachers stared at each other. They were tempted too. It was full of treasures. There was no way that they could take the treasures. Even if they took them away, it was impossible to distribute them. However, there was an abundance of energy there. Perhaps, everyone would improve by leaps. Apart from the students, the teachers would benefit as well. Perhaps. It was all right to take a look. Bring us there. Teacher and spoke to Fu Hongming. I can't. Fu Hongming waved his hands in fear. It's V. Very dangerous. Don't worry. Teacher and waved his hands. Both of us are three. Start cultivators, we are pretty strong. Moreover, we have a lot of students with us. We will be more careful. Besides, if it was Elder Lunar Shadow, there should not be any traps there, and Mufan concluded. He had heard of the legend regarding Elder Lunar Shadow. He was kind and amiable. Sure. Fu Hongming had no choice but to agree. Therefore, Fu Hongming led the big group toward the direction of the exploitation site. Sure enough. Lu Ming and Xia Yu looked at each other and followed the group. On the way, they encountered a lot of obstacles. The falling stones and the potholes on the ground became barricades, blocking their way. Fortunately, the students had sufficient energy. Some of them smashed the stones while others moved the stones or fill up the holes. Although they only had low dot level abilities, there were many of them. They were strength in numbers. This applied very well in their case. Some of them who did not have applicable abilities would move the rocks manually. 
Because they were very clear of one thing, the sooner they reached the mystic realm, the longer they would be able to stay there. They had to reach there before the school management got here. Hence, the students made a walking path among the rocks and stones. They even cleared all the debris of the two mine caves that were completely blocked by the falling stones. Here it is. Fu Hongming brought the students to stop in front of a gigantic wall of rocks. They could vaguely see something. There seemed to be some lights in the wall of rocks. That was. The students were excited. The mystic realm. It was highly possible that the mystic realm was behind the wall of rocks. Let's go. The students roared. Bang. They directed all sorts of attacking abilities toward the wall of rocks. Click. There was a crack in the stone wall. They could see more light through the crack. The student's attack was effective. Although they did not have high dot level attacking abilities, they had strength in numbers. Effective. The two teachers were excited as well. It turned out that the stone wall was not built with a strong defense ability. This was similar to the boundaries which could only be destroyed when there was enough energy. Boundaries. Lu Ming was deep in his thoughts. He heard Teacher En's words and finally understood why the three people did not go ahead to take whatever they wanted. It was because they did not have enough energy to break the stone wall. They had insufficient energy. This could only be done with the help of the large number of students. Since they were not powerful enough, they had to rely on numbers, particularly when it was an alarmingly high number of students. Bang! The students were still attacking wildly. Some people ran out of energy and took out their energy cards. Click. Click. Very soon. Cracks gradually covered the walls. Traces of light seeped through from behind the stone wall. They were close to breaking the edge of the wall. Come on. Soon. The students were excited. Bang. Once again they all worked together to attack. Boom. With a loud noise, the stone wall shattered and there was a burst of light. Dazzling brilliance flashed and everything in front of them became clear. The legendary mystic realm. Everyone looked toward it with anticipation, but they were stunned. Behind the wall, under the radiance light was a shabby room. How is it possible? How could the mystic realm be so small? No, this is not the mystic realm. The students refused to believe it. The two teacher rested their gaze on the table placed in the middle of the chamber. There were a few strange items that were flashing with lights as well as a few cards. Those items seemed quaint and extraordinary. Those were. Whoosh. A shadow flashed. Before they could see clearly, Fu Hongming and the two of them rushed into the chamber and took the things away. Buzz, a surge of energy floated through. At the moment that they took those items, the solid chamber evaporated into energy and vanished. Perhaps it should have become dust long ago, but it retained its original form due to the items. It turned into nothing since the items were taken away. This is not an illusion. How dare you deceive us? Teacher and was upset. He did not expect that he would be set up by the few workers. Surround them. The students were enraged as well. Hee <laughs> hee. Fu Hongming smiled, taking a card from his pocket. Teleport card. Teacher N's countenance changed. It was the legendary teleport card. Legend had it that a very powerful teleporting ability was sealed in this card, with the ability to teleport. It was a very precious card. And right now, Fu Hongming had one of those cards. Damn it. Who the hell were these guys? What cards did they get from the chamber? What was so important that they would use the teleport card at no cost? Teacher and knew that they were in big trouble. Don't worry. After I leave, I will be sure to repay you. Fu Hongming had an evil grin. These fools were trapped in the mine. After he went out, he would get someone to throw something inside and they would definitely die. By the time the school sent help. 
these people would already have died. That was right. How could these spoiled teachers from the vocational college be his match? Activate the card. Fu Hongming passed the card to his younger sister. Attack. Teacher and gave a mad roar. This mine was a dead land, if Fu Hongming escaped. They would definitely die. Therefore, they had to make him stay. Bang. Violent winds sprang up. Teacher and gathered wind in his hands, turning them into sharp blades. He gathered all his energy as a three-dot-start elementalist. However, at this time, Fu Hongming had already stood at the forefront to block the attack. Energy shield. He crossed his arms, the energy surging around him, and it formed an energy barrier. Bang! The blades of wind hit against it and formed a brittle sound. All the attacks had been blocked. Teacher and launched a crazy attack on the three of them, but he only heard brittle jingling sounds. They could not defeat them. Not at all. Teacher Wang worked with him to attack the three people. There was a slight crack on the energy shield. But it was impossible to break it in a short time. Together. The students helped out as well. However, they had consumed a lot of energy when they destroyed the stone wall just now. They even used their energy cards and therefore they did not have much energy left. The few scattered attacks were of no use at all. At this very moment, Fu Hongyan had already activated the card in her hands. Done. Teacher and felt a chill. Buzz, a crystal clear green nexus was generated at their feet. A circle of light flashed and it was filled up instantaneously. It was the radiance from the teleport card. Goodbye. Fu Hongming was not the slightest bit worried about the solid energy shield. So what if he was faced with two of the three dot start cultivators? Those guys. Would die here forever. No one would know exactly what happened here. Buzz, the green light was brighter. It was just that. At that crucial moment, Chang Liang who had been maintaining the brightness for everyone roared loudly. There was a blinding shot of light from his eyes. Flash. All of the people in front of Chang Liang could not see anything instantaneously. There was a white mist everywhere. They could not see a thing. This was the moment. Swoosh. An arrow composed entirely from energy broke through the air and fired toward Fu Hongyan. This was Xia Yu's first skill. Frostbolt. Buzz, there was a low whisper. At the same time, Fu Hongming was shrouded by light. This was Zhang Xiaopang's illusion. He and Xia Yu directed their abilities toward Fu Hongyan at the same time, aiming to attack her on the spiritual level and on the physical level. Ugh. Fu Hongyan faltered. The teleportation light was about to be completed, but it was stalled slightly. She recovered very quickly and continued to direct energy into the card. However, this single moment was enough. There seemed to be something rushing out from the white mist. Something is coming this way. Fu Hongming was on alert. He could not see anything, however. He could sense through his energy that it seemed to be a raging fierce bull that was formed by energy. It seemed to be brutal charge. And to his surprise, the direction of the attack seemed to be towards the front, where the energy barrier was. Why would they attack from the front? One must know that the combined energies of An Mufeng and the other teacher were unable to break the energy shield. How was it possible that the brutal charge would be able to destroy their energy shield? It was ridiculous. Who gave him such confidence? Right then. Bang! There was a loud noise. The rampaging fierce bulls seemed to have knocked into his energy shield. He could feel a huge impact from the attack. Fu Hongming's countenance changed. The force. Oh no. It was not one raging fierce bull. This was definitely more than one ability. Fu Hongming could feel that there was a herd of raging fierce bulls charging toward him. There was a monstrous force coming from his hands. 
Its strength was beyond imagination. Come and help. He felt that his hands were trembling. There was a sudden roar. It's coming. His companions helped him to resist it. The three people worked together to withstand the huge impact. Although Fu Hongming was overwhelmed by the huge impact, he knew that attack of this level was not able to hurt them. Almost there. He calculated the time of the teleportation nexus. Done. Bang. There was a loud bang. The energy shield was still intact. At that moment. The familiar teleportation nexus gave off a brilliant light, all the rampaging bulls and surging energy had disappeared. The world was thrown into total silence. The teleportation was a success. Fu Hongming was not surprised at all. The white mist in front of him disappeared gradually. They could finally see clearly. Afterwards. Fu Hongming raised his head and his eyes turned blank. He widened his eyes to look at the surroundings. He was in a daze. The two people next to him were equally dazed. They looked at their boss and the surroundings. They could not recover themselves for a long while. This. How could that be possible? They were still in the mine. What is happening? Fu Hongming's mouth felt dry. The teleport card was very precious. They only had one card. They specially bought the card for this task. How could they fail? Why would they fail? How was it possible that the other party could stop the teleportation? No, he could already feel the rush of energy from the success of the teleportation. It was obviously. Wait a minute. Fu Hongming looked at the ground and his face dropped. They were a few long marks on the ground. The bulls had left them. This was. Just now, when a herd of rampaging bulls came charging at them, he put in his best efforts to resist them and withstand the strong impact of the bulls. He thought that he had blocked them. But now it seemed that although he had blocked them, he was forced to retreat by one meter. Yes. It was one meter away. Although the teleportation nexus was being activated, they were not being taken away. Success. Lu Ming was thrilled. They had waited half an hour for this moment. The function of brutal charge was to form a raging fierce bull and to create an impact to the enemy. What about rampaging bull's encirclement that would release seven bulls at one go? No doubt, it would greatly impact the enemy. The force of it would cause the enemy to lose focus. After all, the raging fierce bulls were formed from energy, they were not real bulls. Therefore, when the energy hit the enemy, the energy would surge around, causing the body to lose control. However, Fu Hongming's energy shield was too strong. It had blocked all the charges and energies. In the end, Lu Ming activated ten cards and the seventy bulls formed a large herd of rampaging bulls and all the impact was directed at the energy shield. The strong impact caused the three of them, together with the energy shield to be pushed backwards. The effect was amazing. Chapter 23. Where has it been teleported to? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 23. Where has it been teleported to? Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios at this very moment. In the mine. Fu Hongming and his gang, who stood in front of them and were being pulled out of the teleportation nexus, had yet to come back to their senses. What kind of retarded operation was this? They were pushed out of the nexus by a herd of bulls. Those damn raging bulls. Fu Hongming finally understood why he had wanted to attack the front. It was just that. He did not expect that a brutal charge 1. Start ability would be able to affect him. He never expected that the impact would be so huge. If he had known, he would have used his own body to withstand the attack. Should he not use the energy shield? And it was too late now. Wait a minute. Fu Hongming suddenly thought of a more terrible thing, if they had not been teleported, what had been teleported away. At the same time. 
somewhere in the suburbs. A complete nexus was drawn in the forest. A girl stood next to it. She was dressed in a long dress, as beautiful as a fairy. She held a quaint book, reading it quietly and seriously. It was a beautiful scene. You don't have to come, an old man of about fifty to sixty years old walked up to her and said. He could easily send his trusted subordinates to get the stuff from Fu Hongming. But the young girl insisted on coming personally every time. Master. I am your disciple. The young girl smiled sweetly, closing the book in her hands. I have recently learned teleportation nexus and would like to take a look at how it works. After all, I want to surpass you in the future. The young girl was full of confidence. I don't know what to do with you. The old man laughed involuntarily. I wonder when they will use the teleportation nexus. Suddenly. The teleportation nexus lit up. It's coming. The young girl's eyes lit up. She walked quickly to the teleportation nexus, squatting down to feel the energy running through it. This. This. So this is how it works. I understand now. The young girl was very serious. She knew that the teleportation nexus that had to teleport many people would have to run for a few seconds. It gave her enough time to study it. She tried to sense the energy circles. So this is how it works. Over there. She was mesmerized. Mere seconds were enough for her to learn a lot about the nexus. This child. The old man smiled without a word. His disciple was very serious. However. At this time, the radiance surrounding the teleportation nexus disappeared. The old man's countenance changed. He noticed that the teleportation nexus had not teleported Fu Hongming and the two other people. What the hell was this? Xiao Qing. Get out of the way. Ha. Huh. The young girl half dot squatted by the edge of the nexus, studying the flow of the energy. All of sudden, she could sense that there was a strong surge of energy coming from the formation, and some strange creatures seemed to be appearing. Bang. The earth roared. The young girl did not have time to react. A huge force banged into her viciously. Bang. 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 Loud sounds could be heard. The beautiful picture was destroyed instantaneously. Moo, there was a loud roar and a herd of charging bulls came trampling out of the nexus. Scram. The old man used his powerful energy to scatter the raging bulls. But when he walked over to check the young girl, he gasped in shock. Xiao Qing had bruises all over her body. The hooves of the bulls had left many marks on her white dress. It was a pitiful sight. Master. It's painful. The young girl felt sad. With that, her head fell to a side and she fainted. Fu Hongming. The old man's wrath could be heard over the clouds. At this very moment. In the mine. Fu Hongming could only pray that the herd of bulls that was being teleported did not cause any injuries. After all, the elder was very powerful. They should not affect him. Well. That was for sure. You have no idea what you have just done. Fu Hongming took a deep breath. He was boiling in anger. He had been cultivating for decades. No one ever dared to play tricks on him. Especially not. A student. That's for me to say, teacher and said calmly. Teacher Wang stood out from the crowd as well. All of them had been fooled by Fu Hongming and they almost ended up dead in the mine. Things had already escalated. He wanted to know how arrogant Fu Hongming could be. Did he want to kill Lu Ming? He had to ask for his permission as the teacher first. Bang! The wind was coming up again. Teacher and struck once again. He used the three-dot-start standard ability of a wind elementalist, wind blade burst. Several wind blades emerged and swept against Fu Hongming. Together. Teacher Wang struck at the same time. 
Everyone, let's attack. The students roared. They had been stifling their anger for a long time. Although they did not have much energy left and they were not powerful enough, they had strength in numbers. The three dot start cultivators were too powerful and they could not measure up to them, but even if they could not defeat three dot start cultivators, they could still defeat the two dot start cultivators. Wow! The students swarmed forward. Energy warriors, elementalists, sharpshooters. The students had all sorts of strange vocations and abilities. Fu Hongyan and company were unable to land any blows. They could only defend themselves passively. Lu Ming was between laughter and tears. It was too messy. The dice is cast. Zhang Xiaopang was pleased with himself. They had interfered with the other party's operation twice. They had completed their mission. As a one-dot-start cultivator, he was able to destroy the plans of a three. Start cultivator successfully. This was something worth bragging about for the rest of his life. Look, Fu Hongming had been defeated by them. Dot in the future, no junior sister would look down on him. He was someone who had defeated a three-dot-start cultivator. Lu Ming glared at him but did not say anything. Theoretically speaking, it was two three-dot-start cultivators against one three-dot-start cultivator. The two teachers should not have any problems. Shouldn't they? Still, Lu Ming felt worried. This should have been a crushing defeat, but the fight seemed to be ongoing. To his surprise, the two teachers and Fu Hongming were well dot matched. Oh, he was wrong. In fact, they seemed to be on the losing end. Lu Ming felt a slight panic. They had stopped them from teleporting, if they still could not defeat them. Would it not be embarrassing? Hurry. Get Chang Liang to assist on the side, Lu Ming told Xia Yu hurriedly. Okay. Xia Yu hurried to tell him. Chang Liang was responsible for the lighting. In this dark mine, it was equivalent to being able to control one's vision. He was the biggest hero in this operation. As for Zhang Xiaopang. He was helpful the first time. But everyone was immune to his ability the second time he tried. His ability was useless. Whoosh. The lights would flicker in the mine cave, dark at times and bright other times. Whenever it was directed at Fu Hongming and his gang, Chang Liang would change the light to cause an interference. The effect was remarkable. Pang. Previously, Fu Hongyan and another worker were still able to hold off the attack. But right now, they were being pressed on the ground by the students and attacked madly by them. The two teachers also gained the upper hand in their fight against Fu Hongming. Slightly better. Lu Ming and the rest finally breathed a sigh of relief. However, at this moment, a blinding green light flashed. Up. Fu Hongming snarled and was shrouded with green lights. He was covered with a layer of green energy armor. Energy armor. Teacher N's countenance changed. How could that be possible? Fu Hongming actually mastered energy armor. Energy armor was the energy shield's advanced ability. When one mastered a basic ability and cultivated it to the highest level, the ability was then able to evolve to an upgraded version. His power had increased tremendously. Bang! Bang! When the wind blades fell on Fu Hongming, there was a clear sound once again. The damn defense. Green. Green hat Iron Man. Lu Ming exclaimed. He did not expect that energy warriors would have such awe-dot-inspiring technology. He could tell that the energy armor was essentially the original energy shield that was gathered in front of him. He was able to use the energy shield flexibly to cover his entire body and ensured that he had total defense. Now that the energy was scattered throughout his body, the effect was weaker, but it was still able to reduce the damage of the wind blades by 90%. It was not able to hurt him. Extremely powerful. Perhaps this was Fu Hongming's hidden trump card. Teacher N and the other teacher were no match for the three-dot-start cultivator who grew up through combats and battles. 
The power. It's my turn now. Fu Hongming had an evil grin on his face. Bang. He stood straight up. Teacher and knew that something was amiss right away. Wind shield. A circle of wind gathered in front of Teacher and, forming a whirlpool. Bang. Fu Hongming shattered it with a punch. The remaining force landed on an Mufan. Pfft. Teacher and spat blood. Be careful. Teacher Wang exclaimed. Bang. Another punch. Teacher Wang was almost blown away. After all, they were simply elementalists. They had no strong defense abilities. They appeared to be very vulnerable in front of Fu Hongming who was covered by energy armor. Damn. The two of them had a grim look on their faces. The power of the advanced ability was far beyond their imagination. This time, it was really dangerous. Wait a minute. How did they manage to destroy the energy shield just now? Yes, Lu Ming. They were suddenly reminded that Lu Ming's rampaging bulls were able to resist the energy shield. Although the energy armor covered his entire body, the covered area was too big, and therefore the protection would be reduced. If they were to continue to attack. Lu Ming, release your ability. Teacher and hollered. I can't use it. Lu Ming smiled bitterly. Teacher and panicked. Why couldn't he perform at this critical moment? No energy. Lu Ming sighed deeply. He had lots of rampaging bulls encirclement cards. After all, he had been creating cards for seven days. He had used ten cards just now. He still had ninety cards. But energy cards. He had used all of them. He had been cultivating the past few days. He had not put aside any cards. He created some cards today, but he had used all of them just now. To activate one Rampaging Bulls Encirclement card, he would need 300 points of energy. He had used 10 cards just now, meaning that he had used up 30 pieces of 1. Start Energy card. He had no energy left. His goal was to prepare 100 energy cards. But the mine cave collapsed and there was no way to create more cards. Let's pool the cards together. Xia Yu looked toward the students. Okay. The surrounding students crowded around and only managed to get two energy cards. They were not card creators. They usually purchased the energy cards. They only had one spare energy card. Most of them had used up their cards when they opened the chamber previously. They had no extra cards left. This. Lu Ming looked at the two pooled cards in his hands. It was pretty miserable. They were too poor on resources. Chapter 24 You said so. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 24 You said so. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Bang there was a loud bang. Fu Hongming was flashing with green lights. He was gaining the upper hand while the two teachers were losing the battle. They barely resisted his attacks. They had no way to retaliate. What to do? Everyone looked grim. If this continued, they would definitely lose. They had disrupted the teleportation of Fu Hongming and the rest. They had won. But why was it that they could not defeat him and could not escape from the fate of being killed? The students also could not understand. They were three dot start cultivators. Why was it that the two of them could not defeat one person? Fu Hongming had a hidden trump card, while the two teachers did not have a single hidden trump card. Teacher, use your hidden trump cards. Some of the students shouted anxiously. Teacher, way to go. Some of the students gave the teachers encouragements. Teacher N's face turned slightly red. Hidden trump card. There were no hidden trump cards. He was just a vocational college teacher at the lowest level. He only bragged and taught students. It had been very long since he engaged in a real fight. But he must do something now. 
Unless. He gritted his teeth, hurling a flash of radiance at Lu Ming. Lu Ming, catch it. Teacher and hollered. Yes. Lu Ming caught hold of it and was stunned. It was a charging card. Charging card. This was a very special energy card. It was more expensive than ordinary energy cards but it did not contain any energy. One could store energy inside and release it when needed. In simple terms, this was the alternate world's power bank. A one-dot-time power bank. It was just that the charging card was not very popular. This was because the market sold various levels of energy cards. It was convenient and fast. Charging on your own. It was too much work. In the past, when people cultivated, they did not have enough energy. There was no excess energy to store. Only people who were ranked at the bottom would use things like this. Since the energy would occasionally overflow, they had to store it temporarily. How should he say it? One had to take time and energy to charge the three dot start card sold at the shop for a year. Therefore, the charging card would affect one's cultivation progress to a certain extent. As such, the card was also known as one of the three losers. Teacher, I am surprised that you have this card. This was Lu Ming's first reaction. It turned out that the teachers who looked high and mighty did not seem to have an easy life. Be no calm but why did the teachers not use it themselves? With the charging card, the teachers would have an endless amount of energy for a short period of time. They could totally. Lu Ming took a look at the situation and thought of a more depressing issue. Perhaps. Teacher and did not have stronger abilities. Wind blade burst. Wind shield. He seemed to be only using these two abilities. Teacher and was a three dot start cultivator, yet his combat ability was worrying. His pampered days in school seemed to have caused his ability to increase at a very slow rate. Therefore, even if he had endless energy, it was useless. He had no other skills. Hence, he could only give it to Lu Ming to give it a try. So, that was the case. While Lu Ming was figuring it out, he was moving quickly to get ready for a fight. Once he got hold of the charging card, he took out the Rampaging Bull's Encirclement card and got ready. But he hesitated when he was about to release the cards. How many cards? Lu Ming asked. He did not know how many cards he should use to be able to help Teacheran. The most important thing was, Teacheran was inside as well. If he launched an attack without any thoughts, Teacheran might be hurt. Use as many as you can. Teacheran roared. Idiot. Students were indeed students. How could they hesitate at this crucial moment? Of course they had to use all of them. Okay. Lu Ming no longer hesitated. Teacher, you must remember that you were the one who told me to use as many as possible. Whoosh. He activated the charging card. Buzz, he had no idea how long Teacher and spent to fill the card with energy. It was activated and there seemed to be an invisible link connecting to Lu Ming. Lu Ming felt like he had endless energy. Let's go. Lu Ming activated the first card. Buzz, the energy in his body was emptied, but then it was filled up again. The recovery rate of the charging card was as fast as the energy card and it had boundless energy. Lu Ming felt as if he was full of energy. Since this is the case. Let's do it. Whoosh. 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 He activated the cards in his hands one by one and they flew out one after another. Buzz, the cards dissipated in the air and turned into raging fierce bulls. They were here. The surrounding students no longer cared about Fu Hongyan and the other person. They had retreated to stand behind Lu Ming. Go. Teacher and was ready. Wind rise. The energy surged around him. He finally used his third skill, Misty Figure. He brought Teacher Wong with him and quickly hid behind the bulls. Shush. Shush. 
Lu Ming used his fastest speed to activate all the remaining cards. All the cards flew out quickly. He had finally hurled 90 cards into the air. Mu, Mu, the rampaging bulls continued to appear. It was a magnificent sight. The rampaging bulls almost filled up the entire mine cave. Right then, Teacher and realized what Lu Ming meant when he said, All of the cards. Damn. There were too many bulls. Both Teacher and, and the students were dumbfounded. The number. Teacher, run for your life. Lu Ming looked at Teacher and. Teacher and was confused. Run for their lives. Fu Hongming should be the one at risk. As long as the herd of raging bulls could destroy Fu Hongming's energy armor, he and Teacher Wang would be able to make use of the opportunity to kill him. They must not let Fu Hongming get out of here alive. Escape from what? Students were students after all. Teacher inside. It was such a good chance, how could they escape? He should use his brain to think. What if Fu Hongming hunted them after they escaped? Don't worry. Leave the rest to Teacher Wang and I. An Mufen looked at the rampaging bulls with confidence. If the energy armor was destroyed, they would be able to take it from there. At this very moment. Bang. Bang. The rampaging bulls charged with great momentum. The ground of the mine cave seemed to be trembling. All of the raging bulls charged toward Fu Hongming. Since he was Lu Ming's target, he had nowhere to hide. Go. Fu Hongming did not have the slightest hesitation. They must be kidding. He would not be that foolish to engage in a fight with the bulls. However, this was a dead end. He had hidden there as it served as a good point of defense and to release the teleportation nexus. There was no way to retreat. Bang! The rampaging bulls kept charging toward him. Where should we go? Fu Hongyan and the other worker were at a loss. Up, Fu Hongming sneered. He jumped up without the slightest hesitation. He climbed to the wall behind him. He then gave a hard blow to the wall, creating a spot in the wall where he could grab. So what if they had rampaging bulls? Ridiculous. This kind of pure linear attack was simply the stupidest tactic of all. So what if they were powerful? The attack was useless if they were above the ground. Sure enough. Once Fu Hongming leaped onto the wall, the rampaging bulls could not attack him. Fu Hongyan and the other worker saw it and hurried to climb to the nearby wall. Now that they had escaped from the rampaging bulls, they created a hole in the wall and gripped onto it. Humph. Great. The walls of the exploitation site were not very sturdy. Bang. Bang. Since the rampaging bulls lost their target, they kept on charging forward and hit the walls of the mine cave. Stupid. Fu Hongming mocked them. However, as the rampaging bulls relentlessly charged at the walls, there were tremors in the ground and some of the gravel came falling from the top. They realized that things were not looking good. This was. Let's go. Teacher N's countenance changed. To hell with it. He suddenly realized that this was an exploitation site. This was not a mining area. The mine cave at the mining site had been through multiple reinforcements, making it more sturdy. This made it more convenient for digging up energy stones. However, the structure of the walls at the exploitation site was at its most primitive state. This area. Let's go. The students went crazy and ran for their lives. Bang. Bang. There were constant booms and bangs. The rampaging bulls kept on charging and attacking. The entire mine cave shook. Fu Hongming laid prone against the wall, looking worried. Let's go. He had just been thinking of running when there was a tremor above his head. Boulders began to fall down on him. The mine cave was collapsing due to the rampage and destruction caused by over 600 bulls. Bang. Bang. The mine shook once again. 
boulders kept falling downwards, obscuring Fu Hongming's face. Bang! Bang! The entire exploitation site was collapsing. Run! 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 Teacher and led the students to run for their lives. Wind rise. He gathered the wind and helped the students escape out of the exploitation site. They were able to pick up their speed with the help of teacher and they sensed that the exploitation site was beginning to collapse. Finally, they escaped right before the exploitation site collapsed. Bang! Bang! Many rocks kept falling down. They watched as the entire exploitation site collapsed completely. All the passageways of the exploitation site were completely buried. They turned to look at Lu Ming, feeling somewhat frightened. Brother, what have you done? That was too terrifying. Teacher and finally knew what Lu Ming meant when he told them to run for their lives. He did not know that the rampaging bulls could cause such an amazing effect. What level of attack was that? You. Teacher and was still badly shaken. If he had known that Lu Ming had so many cards, he would not have told him to use all of them. It was too terrifying. All of them had almost ended up being buried alive inside. Ah. Uh. Lu Ming shrugged. You said so. Of course, he was clear about one thing. The impact of rampaging bulls encirclement was not that powerful. The mine's collapse could have been due to the fact that all of the rampaging bulls trampled the ground at the same time. What did it mean to have more than 600 bulls stampeding at the same time? Now he knew. Chapter 25 Brother, what have you been through in the past? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 25 Brother, what have you been through in the past? Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios The mine collapsed. It was thoroughly destroyed. Teacher N and the rest wanted to check whether Fu Hongming was dead or alive. However, the exploitation site was totally blocked. There was no way to enter. All entrances were cut off. After thinking about it, there was no need for confirmation. It would be good if Fu Hongming was crushed to death, otherwise. It would be a worse fate to be buried alive. Of course. Those precious treasures had also been buried. Let's go back. Teacher and led everyone to settle down near the entrance to the mine. The terrain was wide over there and a faint breeze came in from the cracks. Teacher and guided the wind in their direction, making sure that it was well dot ventilated. Fu Hongming was dead. The crisis in the mine had been resolved. The students seemed to be given a new breath of life after the calamity. Before coming for the internship, who would have thought that something like this would actually happen during an easy internship and that they would almost end up dead here? True enough, no place was safe in this world. However, as they were reminded of the ordeal they had been through, they could not help but look toward Lu Ming. They knew that it was thanks to him that they managed to stay alive. He helped stop the teleportation and aided in the collapse of the mine cave. When they were fooled to look for the mystic realm, he had already secretly combined forces with his friends to be prepared for the dangers that they might encounter. And the herd of bulls. They had never seen such amazing abilities. No. Lu Ming had used cards. Right then, some of them recollected that Lu Ming, who was unusually low dot profile seemed to be the founder of Fruit Ninja, which was very popular previously. Perhaps. This was one of his new cards. At the thought of this, the students cast looks of admiration toward Lu Ming. Many young girls seemed to treat him like a young star. It turned out that aside from being handsome, the senior was also outstanding. Senior, I like you. A young girl came up to Lu Ming to confess her love to him, before she ran back shyly, causing an uproar. BDNVL them the young girl looked somewhat familiar. Oh, he remembered her. This girl resembled the inflatable figure in Zhang Xiaopang's tent. Although he only caught a glimpse, he was certain that he had seen correctly. 
He turned to check and true enough, Zhang Xiaopeng seemed to be beside himself. Wait a minute. Something did not seem quite right. Lu Ming connected the dots right away. You don't even give your classmates space. In general, shouldn't these kind of dolls be modeled after celebrities? For example, they could be modeled after Fan Bingbing, one. A Chinese actress, model, television producer and singer, or Lin Chiliang, two. A Taiwanese model, actress, singer and television host. How dare he do this to his classmates? Are you sick? Lu Ming said angrily. Since you are classmates, why don't you go after the real person instead of creating an inflatable doll? You know nothing. Zhang Xiaopeng pursed his lips. The inflatable doll is better. It won't end up in a quarrel with you. It won't throw tantrums. It won't make you a cuckold and it is convenient to bring around. Lu Ming pondered for a moment. These words seemed to be full of stories. What had Xiaopeng been through in the past? Convenient to bring around. Lu Ming subconsciously looked at the big bag behind Zhang Xiaopeng's back. Therefore, inside the bag must be. Go away. Zhang Xiaopeng widened his eyes. How dare you steal glances at xin.er when she is sleeping. Lu Ming was rendered speechless. He resisted the thought of strangling him and left. At this very moment, everyone was resting. After surviving that ordeal, they needed to rest. They waited quietly for the college to send people to help them. Buzz, buzz, a faint light flickered. A gentle and bright light kept on shining on them. Chong Liang had been trying to keep the source of light steady. He sat cross-legged on a huge boulder in order to save energy consumption. He looked like a Buddha, especially those that came with LED lights. My charging card. Teacher and seemed to be talking about something. He had charged the charging card for a year. Now that the energy had been depleted, it seemed that he had to start from scratch again. His heart ached for the loss. But Lu Ming felt very curious. Why would teacher and need a charging card? The average person prepared a charging card so that they could store a lot of energy and use it in a crucial moment. Teacher and did not seem to have any explosive abilities. Teacher, why do you need a charging card? Lu Ming asked. To sell. Teacher and sighed. After the charging card is charged with 3.start energy, it can be sold as a 3.start card. It can fetch a high price. Lu Ming felt puzzled. Sell. Sell it to someone else. In general, people would buy energy cards for cultivation. Why would the teacher do it the other way round, to use his cultivation in exchange for money? Could it be that a college teacher didn't have enough cash? I have no choice. Teacher inside. My children are in school. They have to buy houses in the school district. The expenses are quite high and I am under immense pressure. Houses. Houses in the school district. Lu Ming felt slightly nervous. Yes, my children are not very talented. If they want to have better achievements, they must have a solid foundation and to win from the starting line. Teacher inside. Oh. Lu Ming was surprised. He did not expect that there were houses in the school district in this world. Did you think that I am very weak? Teacher and laughed suddenly. The two of us could not defeat one person. Perhaps he was willing to tell him more because Lu Ming had saved them or subconsciously he treated Lu Ming as the same level as him. Well, no. Lu Ming coughed. I have not been cultivating for the longest time. Teacher and shrugged. I am not talented. I suppose three dot start is the maximum that I can reach. It doesn't make a difference if I cultivate or not. I would rather leave the resources for my child. Why did he have the attitude of a state-owned enterprise? Or perhaps when one has children, one behaves in this manner. In fact, when he thought about it, it seemed fairly normal. 
In college, there was not much difference between a powerful 3.Start cultivator and an ordinary 3.Start cultivator. After all, everyone was a 3.Start cultivator. Under normal circumstances, no one encountered life and death situations like what happened in the mine. Lu Ming. The future is yours. Just leave me to idle around, with no dreams and ambitions. Teacher and went to reassure the students again. Lu Ming was between laughter and tears. Since this was the atmosphere in the college, what else could he say? It was said that the students and teachers of the key colleges were trying by all means and ways to become stronger. Many schools even tolerated a mortality rate. It was only to become stronger. To become the strongest. As for vocational colleges like theirs. It was fine as long as everyone was doing well. They could graduate when they reached 2.Start level. This was indeed leading an idle life. Lu Ming felt that his current state of mind was also influenced by the school. As someone who had transmigrated, should he not welcome all kinds of danger, fight for precious treasures, seek to become stronger in crisis, kill whoever blocked his way, and become a legend in the end? Why did he coop himself up at home to create cards every day? This was not scientific. He must have been influenced by the school. It had to be. Lu Ming was certain. However, he had some regrets. Lu Ming looked toward the exploitation site. The crisis was indeed resolved. However, the items that Fu Hongming made a special trip to take were gone as soon as they were unearthed. They had been buried under the ground once again. Especially one of the cards. When the chamber appeared and everyone looked at the treasures that contained immense energy, Lu Ming was the only person who was looking at the card. Because he was a card creator. And the card was in the middle. On top of that, Fu Hongming's gaze had never left the card. Obviously, he was here for the card. The card was the most precious item. It was a pity. In the end, nobody knew what it was. One hour later. The school bus came and they realized that something was wrong. They sent a rescue team very soon. Professional help came to their rescue. They used energy to smelt a path for them and to create an opening through the ruins of the mine cave, rescuing them from it. The students were finally able to return to school. After the collapse of the mine, the school and the factory headquarters had to work to settle the subsequent matters. In order to reassure the students who had been through a harsh ordeal, the school compensated the students by giving them a lot of credits. Lu Ming did a mental calculation, so he could skip lessons for a long while. The school also gave a special reward to the few of them who had helped, they were given a certificate of award that was signed by the principal. Lu Ming was speechless. Chapter 26 100 Million you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 26 100 Million Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Certificate Lu Ming was puzzled. What could he say? What could they do with a certificate? He knew that the school was stingy but he never thought that it would be to this extent. Just a piece of paper. What's on your mind? Teacher and glared at him. This is good stuff. You can exchange this for one dot time professional guidance from any teacher. You can even get the principal to guide you. Seriously. Lu Ming's eyes lit up. Professional guidance. Any teacher in the school. Compared to the cards that he used, he could tell that the certificate was much more valuable. At the thought of this, he put the certificate aside with satisfaction. Late at night. After settling everything and following up with the mining events, Lu Ming felt more at ease now that he returned to the shop. After all. This was his home. This was the place he was the most familiar with in this world. It's over, he silently concluded in his mind. This was a habit he developed over the years as a programmer. He had no other choice. Back then, he had to write lots of reports for every project, every module and even every function, 
showing them to his ignorant boss. He had to give detailed analyses of the demands and structural design. Even if he did not need to write reports now, he would naturally come up with a report in his mind. First of all, his energy level had exceeded 300 points. Congratulations! Lu Ming had substantially increased his capability. One must know that the recovery and surging rates of energy were related to one's cultivation. The stronger the cultivation, the better you would naturally be in other aspects. Secondly, his card creating skill had improved tremendously. He had created more than 100 rampaging bulls encirclement cards. Every card and every line was of a high difficulty level and he had drawn them to perfection. Right now, he had a strong foundation in drawing basic lines. The battle experience was very valuable as well. Of course, the only pity was those cards in the chamber. However, Lu Ming knew very well that those items did not belong to him. He could not take them and he did not dare to take them. I shall rest now. Lu Ming went to sleep after finishing his summary. He had gone through a lot today. After madly creating cards for seven days, he needed a good sleep right now. Otherwise, it would be very wrong if he had a sudden death. Early next morning. Lu Ming woke up feeling energized. He received a strange message from Zhang Xiaopang, the school spent the entire night searching for the missing students. Missing students. Lu Ming was confused. He thought that all the students were alive. Teacher and counted the number of people at that time, how could it be possible that someone had disappeared? Wait a minute. It suddenly dawned on Lu Ming that all the students were alive, but the items in the chamber were missing. The school was actually after those items. After all, Fu Hongming tried to get them at all costs. He even used a teleport card to teleport them. Those items must be priceless. It was impossible that the school would give them up. Did they find them? Lu Ming knew it very well. Of course. Zhang Xiaopang smirked. Teacher and went with them on the search. I heard that they dug them out that night. You're very well informed. Lu Ming was somewhat surprised. He knew that Zhang Xiaopeng had been getting along well in school, but he did not expect him to know such news. Of course. Zhang Xiaopeng felt pleased with himself. Oh, right. Zhang Xiaopeng suddenly thought of something. You have to wait if you want to create cards. I will not be around these few days. I am going to take the advanced studies for professional illusionist knowledge. Oh. Lu Ming was surprised. I exchanged it with the certificate. It was rare that Zhang Xiaopang was so serious. I will definitely catch up with you. Humph. Lu Ming coughed. All of us are boys. What's there to catch up? Zhang Xiaopang was speechless. Bam. Lu Ming hung up the cell phone. He did not expect that Zhang Xiaopang would be so motivated and would strive to improve himself. It was not easy. Lu Ming was filled with emotions. In fact, other than him, he believed that after this internship, most of the students who had been through the ordeal would start to work hard on cultivating, which was a good thing. It was only through having first-hand experience of the harsh world that they would start to work hard. I am indeed too weak. Lu Ming was very dissatisfied with his capabilities. Although he had successfully gotten rid of Fu Hongming, saving everyone from danger was far from enough. Come to think of it, if he was stronger, he would be able to have those items in the chamber. They would not end up with the school. That was the reason why he found it a pity. The card. It was taken away by the school. Lu Ming felt a heartache. He felt as if he had missed a one in a hundred million chance. This feeling was similar to when he took the subway and he saw a beauty that he was interested in. However, she left soon after and he had yet to get her contact number. Moreover, he heard from his boss that he had managed to hit on her. That was exactly what he felt. Heartache. I have to become stronger as soon as possible. 
Lu Ming was full of emotions. When he encountered such things next time, he had to seize the opportunity. Well. Definitely. By the way, there was also the black cat who was a fraud. Lu Ming felt that the creature inside him might be a fake big shot. It seemed to be very powerful, but it refused to help at critical moments. It was a black cat, yet it could not be compared to the nine-dot-tailed fox. How could that be? He had to think of a solution later. Lu Ming pondered. He might not have touched the black cat's soft spot. He had to increase his communication with the black cat, getting as familiar with it as possible, so that it would help him when needed. Whether the black cat helped him or not was crucial. It determined how powerful his combat ability was. At the thought of this, Lu Ming went into his sea of consciousness again. Click. Click. He heard a familiar sound. He had already expected that the big shot would be grinding its teeth again. What a good dot four dot nothing, Lu Ming said to himself. He dared not say it out loud. What was the point of gnawing on a card every single day? Look, it had turned red. Wait a minute. Red. Lu Ming turned green. No way. Could it be that his original card had mutated again after being gnawed at? At the thought of this, he hurried forward to check. He was shocked to discover that his original card was still lying under the black cat. Then what could it be gnawing at? Lu Ming took a closer look and was thrilled. The 100 million. That was right. The card that the black cat was gnawing on was the priceless card in the chamber. Wait a minute. Lu Ming felt puzzled. When did this card come to be in his sea of consciousness? No, accurately speaking, when did the black cat take the card? Lu Ming was shocked that no one noticed it. He had no idea at all. The power. Brother cat, can I take a look at this card? Lu Ming asked. Click. Click. The black cat did not even bother to raise his head. Well, there was no hope. Lu Ming wanted to leave but he felt indignant. The card that Fu Hongming tried desperately to get had ended up with him. If he could use it to improve his ability. Lu Ming felt excited at the thought of it. Of course. The premise was that he must get it from the black cat. Brother cat. Lu Ming called, but the black cat was too lazy to deal with him. All right. Lu Ming shrugged. It was just that. He felt that something was amiss. After a long time, he finally remembered. Sea of Consciousness. This was the Sea of Consciousness. Lu Ming widened his eyes. Although he was a novice card creator and he did not really understand what the Sea of Consciousness was, at the very least he was certain about one thing, physical entities should not be able to reach the Sea of Consciousness. Therefore, why would the card be here? Or perhaps. It had to do with the creature in front of him. The black cat itself had this amazing ability and the card that was under its paws must have become special as well. In that case. What if it let go of the card? Lu Ming was tempted. Would the card be able to return to the real world? Let's try it out. Lu Ming felt energized. Brother cat. Lu Ming asked softly, can I take a look at the card? I will return it to you right away. Click. Click. The black cat continued to gnaw on the card. Well. Lu Ming thought about it, before saying in a serious tone, or perhaps you can give me a task and I will help you to complete it, and my reward will be that card. No, Lu Ming remembered those seniors who had transmigrated and said, or perhaps you can create a roulette and we can do a lucky draw and I can exchange for it. The black cat looked at him as if he was a stupid fool. This won't do as well. Lu Ming felt very disappointed. What's the use of having you? Bam. A black shadow flashed. Coming. Coming. Lu Ming had some expectations that his wish would be granted. Bam. He was slapped away by a paw. However, 
just before the black cat slapped him out of the sea of consciousness, he saw clearly that the card left the black cat and disappeared in the sea of consciousness. It had disappeared. Ha ha ha. You have to blame yourself for slapping me. Ha ha ha. His consciousness dissipated. Lu Ming returned to reality. As expected, the red card had appeared. Successful. Lu Ming was slightly excited. After all, he had fooled Brother Cat into giving him the card. Wait a minute, would it take the card back? He stole a quick glance at his sea of consciousness with a guilty conscience. The black cat was still squatting lazily on the mat. It seemed to have no response. Except that its tail kept on swinging. The frequency was quite high. Brother Cat is angry. Lu Ming was slightly terrified. He knew how frightening the creature was. However, if Brother Cat was so angry, why didn't it take the card back directly? Well. Or perhaps. It could not be taken back. Lu Ming was deep in his thoughts. He suddenly remembered that the black cat was also in a weak state. Therefore, it must be very energy dot consuming to cross over between reality and sea of consciousness. Therefore, it could only make a one dot time trip for now. Hurry. I must make use of the time to study this card before Brother Cat recovers. Chapter 27 Lu Yen You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chapter 27 Lu Yen Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios This Card He looked at the card in his hands with excitement. He knew that this was the most precious item in the mine. The card surface was intact. No cracks. There were only some faint stains. Well. Needless to say, it must be Brother Cat's masterpiece. Fortunately, there were only some faint stains on it. There was no lightning crack or other damages. The top part. Lu Ming used his finger to gently touch the upper right corner of the card. He could feel a different texture. Apparently. This was a certified card. What did it being certified mean? It had the official certification of the Card Creators Association. One had to pay a lot of money for them to carry out a full range evaluation of the card. They would not use the card, instead they would use their own way to evaluate the effect of this card, and give their final assessment of it. Card Rating Card Type Ability Level Card Name They would use Energy Code, a technology similar to Laser Code to engrave the information on the upper right corner of the card. When energy was surging, the information would appear. So, under normal circumstances, one would only send very powerful cards to be certified. After all, the cost of certification was very high. For example, Lu Ming would only manually paste a label on the upper right corner of the cards he created. It would save costs. Let me see what this card is. There was a flash of energy in Lu Ming's hands. A virtual shadow displaying the information appeared at the upper right corner of the card, where the card had been certified. Card Name Lunar Shadow Card Type Legacy Card Card Set One of the seven Lunar Shadow Cards, this is. Lu Ming was shocked. A Legacy Card A Set Card There was actually such a card. What was a Legacy Card? In simple terms, it was a card that was used to pass something on to one's disciples. The person who left the legacy would pass on their experiences, everything they learned in that life. They would extract all their knowledge and commission a card creator to create a card of it. This was why there was the legacy card. The legacy card was the greatest wealth of the elders. It was usually left by elders who were about to pass away for their descendants. It was very precious. It might contain the inspiration that the elder gained from every move and stroke. After the succession, one could take their time to learn and reflect on the card, until becoming powerful and strong. This method was obviously much safer than empowerment and similar methods. This 
Lu Ming knew how precious the card in his hand was. However, it was only one of the cards in a set. What did it mean by a set card? Due to the constraints of the card or the card creator's ability, they were unable to draw all the lines successfully onto one card. Therefore, they had to use a special technique. This technique was extremely scary. Think about it, they had to divide thousands and thousands of lines into different parts, and to ensure that the lines would be able to function by themselves after separating into several parts, and that the card would not disintegrate if the energy was unstable. After which, they had to seal the lines into different cards and to use encryption technology. Therefore, the difficulty level was very high. It must be a very precious card to require such a high dot end sealing technique. Priceless. This. Lu Ming was stunned. It was no wonder Fu Hongming had the teleport card. It was no wonder they were willing to disguise as workers and to work at the mine. They did it all for the card. No. Perhaps Fu Hongming was not the mastermind. Given Fu Hongming's ability, he was unable to have the teleport card and to be privy to such confidential news. It was highly possible that he was working for other people. Lu Ming's thoughts jumped from one to another. In that case, no matter what, he could not touch the card. Because it was too dangerous. Because it was too tricky. Not to mention that he would need a total of seven cards to complete the set. Lu Ming did not have the time or the money to collect these cards. Of course. BL.net The most important point was. He had no use for Elder Lunar Shadow's legacy. According to the information on the internet, the Elder seemed to be a powerful swordsman. This vocation had absolutely nothing to do with the card creator. He was a card creator. Even if he collected seven cards, it was useless to him. Why would he keep it with him? Should he summon the Dragon Master with it? Brother Cat. Lu Ming sneaked back into his sea of consciousness. Well. Perhaps you want to take back the card. Lu Ming smiled bitterly. The black cat shot a cold glance at him before it gnawed on the original card again. Brother Cat did not want the card. Lu Ming was rendered speechless. Obviously, the black cat did not want a card that would disappear as soon as it released its claws. What should he do with it? Lu Ming's head was aching. He did not expect that this card would be so tricky. Sell it. No way. If other people knew that he had Lunar Shadow card, he would surely die. If he was not careful, he would be courting death. There was no need for him to take such a risk. However, Lu Ming shivered slightly. The card was a headache to him, but to other people it might be useful. For example, his cheap elder sister. According to the memories of little Lu Ming, the sister was indeed bullish. She was very talented. It was as if she used the modifier since a young age. She did very well in all aspects and no one was her match. Her teacher was the legendary powerful cultivator, one of those people who would have their photos hanging on the wall of the schools. She was extremely brilliant. If this card was given to her, it might work. Somewhere. Some people were arguing in the conference room. Let the children settle their own affairs. Exactly. We must never allow him to join. Someone was very firm. He was Wu Hongfei, the organizer of the succession operation. They had paid a high price for the operation. They did not expect that there would be so much trouble. What if I insist? A cold voice resonated in the room. The atmosphere throughout the conference room became icy cold. On the seat at the far end of the long conference table, sat a young lady. She was dressed in a simple white training suit. She seemed to be a simple girl, but no one dared to underestimate her. Because her name was Lu Yen. Because she had power and skills. You. Wu Hongfei had a headache. This was how things were. The land of legacy would not be simple. Although there were countless opportunities, it was also full of crisis. 
There were restraints everywhere, not to mention, there were a total of seven cards. Seven lunar shadow cards, seven legacy traces. The seven people who held the cards were qualified to compete, and every inheritor could only bring one companion with them to help them to win the fight. They were clear about one thing, since Lunar Shadow Legacy used cards as the carrier, the various restraints and prohibitions must be related to the cards. Therefore, they had to choose a card creator to bring with them. Each person chose a card creator to bring with them. As for Wu Hongfei. In order to crack the restraints faster and to receive the legacy as soon as possible, he decided to choose a powerful card creator from outside the school to help him. Therefore, he held a public event with the Card Creators Association. The chosen candidate would be recognized by both him and the Card Creators Association. Requirements 1. Well. Known. 2. Must have representative works. 3. Must be recommended by someone from the first academy. They had to fulfill these three conditions. Therefore the screening was very strict. After all, the first academy was worthy of the name as the first college in the world. The watchmen at the college were all four dot start cultivators. There was nothing to worry about. After fulfilling the three conditions, the candidates would have to go through voting, whereby the most popular candidate with the highest votes would win, and would then be able to participate in the succession operation with him. The conditions were harsh. At the very least, that was what he thought. However, after the start of the event, some fool recommended a Fruit Ninja card, and it just so happened that the Fruit Ninja was very popular, so. There was no so. The candidate who was chosen from the event turned out to be someone unknown, named Lu Ming. Who the hell was he? Wu Hongfei turned green instantly. Especially when he noticed the shining 1.Start card creator title that he had. He freaked out. If he really brought such a person with him, he supposed he would not be able to crack a single restraint and there was no hope for him to get the legacy. Therefore, although this event was certified by the Card Creators Association, and the person was selected for his popularity, he still decided to break the contract. He could not afford to take the risk. If worst comes to worst, he would pay a large sum of money to compensate for it. However, it was only in two days' time and the main head started up trouble for him. Who would have expected that the one dot start card creator who created Fruit Ninja would be the biological younger brother of Lu Yen, the bullish and talented genius from their college? Lu Yen. Wu Hongfei took a deep breath. Do you know how precious the Lunar Shadow card is? I know, Lu Yen said lightly, that's why I wanted him to go. It is a land of legacy sealed with cards. A card creator can learn a lot from it. Don't you know the kind of person that your brother is? Ha! Huh. His capability is too low. He is merely a one-dot-start card creator and he is only getting started. Given his card creating abilities, he is only at the level of the training institution. How can he participate in this? I won't let him be a hindrance to me. Wu Hongfei said gruffly. Whoosh. The room was shrouded in cold light. Energy gathered to form a frost sword. It appeared out of thin air and suspended in front of his eyebrows, waiting for the moment to strike. The surrounding temperature dipped dozens of degrees instantaneously. The entire conference room turned silent. There was frost on the already withered plants that were placed on the windowsill. Continue, Lu Yen said calmly. Wu Hongfei could feel the icy cold atmosphere in front of him. He dared not say anything. You are the one who organized the event, Lu Yen slowly said, you are the one who came up with the selection with the Card Creators Association. One should be required to sign the contract for an event of this scale. Are you sure you want to break the contract? I, Wu Hongfei looked grim. Of course he wanted to break the contract. But he would only do so after getting the legacy. By then the cast was set, all he had to do was to pay for the compensation. If he broke the contract now, he might be forced to go according to the rules. Who the hell wanted a founder of Fruit Ninja to go with them? 
For what purpose? To chop the fruits. Damn, heaven knew why they would select such a person. Do you know what you're doing? Right then the teacher next to Wu Hongfei spoke up. The legacy this time round is not the card creator legacy. This is a swordsman legacy. The card creator is there solely to crack the restraints. Your brother. He does not have the ability to crack the restraints, that's above his pay grade. What's the point? His teacher felt helpless as well. I just want for him to see the world. Lu Yen was being very frank. But he will destroy me. Wu Hongfei shouted. The path of legacy is full of restraints. Do you know the price that I paid to get this card? What does that have to do with me? Lu Yen smiled at him. Right now, I only ask that you fulfill your promise. Child, even if you have to kneel, you still have to follow the rules that you set. You. Wu Hongfei was exasperated. He could only look to his teacher who was by his side for help. I'll tell you what. His teacher sighed. I will arrange a lesson for Lu Ming, is that okay? I will get a card creating master to give your brother personalized lessons on card creating for a month. I can assure you that whatever he learns will be just as good as what he will learn in the land of legacy. I can assure that he will have a better future, what do you think? He had to compromise. There was no other way. He could not possibly engage in a fight with Lu Yen. Aside from the fact that it was ridiculous for a teacher to fight their student. It was another problem whether he could defeat her or not. P.S. Please give your vote. Chapter 28 Damn her who helps her brother at no cost. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 28 Damn her who helps her brother at no cost. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, Give Lessons Lu Yen began to think seriously. Her brother was too weak that was why this had happened, she wanted for her brother to see the world, to mix with the powerful cultivators, and to take a look at those geniuses, so that he would have a burning passion to strive for excellence. A card creator could become powerful as well. As for taking lessons. He could have them any time. But the land of legacy was a rare chance to pass. I don't agree. Lu Yen shook her head. Keep your promises. Lu Yan's voice was cold. Otherwise, I will make you pay for it. Buzz, the energy surged around her, the cold light flashed across the sword as it buzzed. It was frightening. The entire conference room was icy cold. This maniac. Did she really dare to start a fight in here? Fortunately, a teacher spoke up with excitement right then. Lu Yen. Your teacher is on the phone. Buzz, the teacher touched the bracelet and adjusted it to speaker mode. A familiar voice could be heard from his bracelet. Lu Yen, stop it. Come back, Lu Yen stopped right then. That was her teacher's voice. People of their levels would always be engaged in battles. It was a hassle to carry a cell phone around. It could no longer meet their requirements. Many of them used the smart wristbands. Shush. The atmosphere in the conference room became warm again. I will remember what you said about giving lessons. Lu Yen gave the teacher a glance before she left. The teacher had a bitter smile on his face. He was left with no other choice. Too arrogant. Wu Hongfei was furious. So what if she is powerful? Does it mean that she can do as she pleases? Everyone was speechless. Because, those who were powerful could indeed do as they pleased. Wait till I get the legacy. Wu Hongfei clenched his teeth in anger. I must definitely teach her a lesson. The others looked at him but remained silent. They would not take his word seriously. He sounded as if he could defeat her after getting the legacy. Don't mind her. The teacher shook his head. This is Lu Yan's personality. She will argue even when reason is not on her side. Besides, she is not in the wrong this time. 
Otherwise, she would not be hailed as the devil of the First Academy. It's your fault this time. I, Wu Hongfei felt wronged. How did he know that there would be a freak like Lu Ming? He was very popular and had a representative work even when he was only a one-dot-start cultivator. Did he grow up eating cards? How did he know that Lu Ming was Lu Yan's younger brother? Of course. The biggest problem was with those who cast their votes. The people from the first academy were proud and arrogant. How did Lu Ming who was being trained to be a card creator at training institute get their support? It was not scientific at all. He thought that they despised people like him. Of course. He did not know that Lu Yen brought her sword with her to the faculty of card creation, pointing at the fruit ninja and told everyone that it was created by her brother. That was all. At this very moment. Lu Yen had went back to her apartment. She was satisfied with the outcome today. She did not expect that Wu Hongfei would compromise. If this continued, those seniors and elders might join in the quarrel and she would be left with nothing in the end. She went to the conference to force them to give her some benefit. Give lessons. It was acceptable. Perhaps, her weak brother would make some progress after the lessons. At the thought of this. She frowned, wondering when her brother would act like a man. And. She remembered the last time she went to his place. She seemed to catch a glimpse of female clothes. That was why she left in a hurry without saying anything. She did not know what she should say. What could she say? Ask about the experience of wearing female clothes. It was crazy. She could only pretend not to see anything and to hurry back with pent dot up frustrations. When she went back, it just so happened that Wu Hongfei organized the selection of the card creators and that was why things ended up to be in this state. Her brother. She had to take him in hand. Otherwise, when she visited him the next time, she might see something other than female clothes. Buzz, there was a flutter on her wrist and a message appeared on her wristband. Lu Yen took a look and was surprised that she had expressed delivery. She was particularly concerned about her brother, she had ordered that anything that was related to her brother to be of top priority and must be sent to her. She did not allow other people to intervene. What could it be? She was full of curiosity as she went to retrieve the express delivery. It was a sealed document bag. It was usually used to deliver documents. She opened it to discover to her surprise that there were two cards being stacked together. The card on top was Fruit Ninja. Well. Showing off. Lu Yen curled her lips to reveal a smile. As a student from the Vocational Technical College, it was indeed worth boasting to be able to create something like the Fruit Ninja. But when she removed the Fruit Ninja card, she was stunned momentarily when she saw the card that was stacked on the bottom. This was. Lu Yen widened her eyes in shock. Lunar Shadow Card. It turned out to be a Lunar Shadow Card. There were a total of seven Lunar Shadow Cards, and one of them was with Lu Ming. This guy. Lu Yen took a few seconds to calm down before she broke out into laughter. Her brother had done something amazing. She thought for a few seconds. She took the card and dashed back to the conference room. What are you doing here again? Wu Hongfei had a headache as soon as he saw her. I'm sorry to ask. Lu Yen smiled. Is there someone who has yet to get their card? Shush. Everyone looked toward Gao Tianlang. He was a swordsman who came from a good background. Currently, he was the only person who had yet to bring the Lunar Shadow card. I will get people to send it over in a few days. Gao Tianlang looked very calm. Are you sure? Lu Yen smiled. She took out a card and put it gently on the table in front of her. Buzz, lights were shining. Among the people who gathered around the conference table, the cards in their hands gave off the same lights at the same time, causing an uproar. This was the sign that the set of cards were sensing and reacting to each other. Lunar Shadow The last Lunar Shadow card was with Lu Yen. 
What? Everyone could not help but exclaim. Everyone looked incredulously at the card in Lu Yan's hands. How can that be possible? There was a frightened and shocked look on Gao Tianlang's face. In order to get this card. He kept everyone in the dark. This was his only legacy card and it was the only way for him to participate in this event. He did not even dare to send more powerful people over to the site, for fear that he would attract the attention of others. He only sent three people who were from Qingming City to disguise that they went home to visit their relatives and to retrieve the card. He even used a teleport card. How could this be? Why was the card in Lu Yan's hand? No, it's not right. Gao Tianlang immediately called to confirm. Where is the Lunar Shadow card? Have they delivered it yet? Has the teleport card been activated? The teleport card has been activated. He could hear a dazed voice on the other end. But. A herd of bulls was sent instead. A herd of bulls. Gao Tianlang was dumbstruck. What did it mean by they sent a herd of bulls? However. Everyone ignored him. He had already lost the right to participate in the event the moment he lost the card. Everyone. Lu Yen looked toward the conference room, a smile at the corner of her mouth. So, from now on, I am also one of the leaders of this operation. Right now. I chose Lu Ming as my card creator, does anyone have any objections? Lu Yen swept her gaze across the entire conference room. It was in absolute silence. What could they say? Wu Hongfei looked exasperated. Lu Yen that had joined the fight. In order for Lu Ming, the one dot start card creator to participate, she had landed her hands on the expensive Lunar Shadow card and took the initiative to participate in the legacy operation. Was she sick? They all knew very well that Lu Yan's master was very powerful and was as good as Lunar Shadow. She did not need the legacy. If she had the legacy, it would cause a conflict with her own legacy. Therefore, she participated in this operation solely for Lu Ming. She wanted her brother to see the world. She wanted her brother to learn to create cards. This. She is crazy. Wu Hongfei was powerless to question her. He really did not expect that Lu Yan would be so crazy in order to help her brother. This is a good thing, isn't it? His teacher laughed and whispered. Lu Yen joined the operation not for the legacy. Since this is the case, you will have one less competitor. Wu Hongfei came back to his senses. It was right. Lu Ming. What a good fruit ninja. Wu Hongfei felt that his loss was worthwhile. The rest of the people looked at each other and had a mysterious smile on their faces. It was just that. On one hand they were happy, on the other hand, they were jealous of Lu Ming, and upset that they did not have such a sister. Ah, she would help her brother at no cost. Chapter 29 I am your father. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 29 I am your father. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios at this very moment. At a vocational college. Everyone in the school knew about what happened at the mine. The students learned of the tragic events that had happened during the internship. They also knew that among the second dot year students, there was a group of hard dot core students who fought with three dot start cultivators. Xia Yu, sharpshooter. Zhang Xiaopeng, illusionist. Chang Liang, elementalist. Lu Ming, card creator. The four of them became legends in the school. Age. Nobody cared. Are they really that powerful? What do you think? Let me tell you, I saw it clearly for myself. Xia Yu released a frost bolt and the enemy froze on the spot. Chang Liang cast a flash of light and the enemy was blinded. Zhang Xiaopang released an illusion and the enemies lost themselves in it. They could only twitch about. Do you know what lose themselves means? Anyway, they are very powerful. 
What about Lu Ming? Senior Lu Ming. The novice gave a deep sigh. He tore down the mine. The student widened the eyes in surprise. Tore it down. Let me tell you, back then. The novice spoke quietly. Hence. Soon, everyone knew that there was a powerful card creator who specialized in making demolition cards. He would demolish the places he went to and if he found someone an eyesore, he would bury the person alive. Extremely scary. At that very moment in the principal's office. A middle-aged man was sitting at his desk, looking at the report on the internship. He was the principal of the Vocational Technical College. The report was very detailed. Tent Monster. Fu Hongming. It even reported every single word that they said. Everyone was able to come out of the crisis unscathed due to a few students. It also proved indirectly the potential of these students. The school had to focus on these students. Perhaps. These kids would be able to stand out among their peers. It was time that their college produced talented students. These kids are pretty good. The principal was satisfied. What did it take for one to stand out among one's peers? Courage. Brains. Although they could have done better for what happened at the mine, they were only one dot start cultivators. It was considered very good. Especially, Lu Ming. After all, he is her younger brother. The principal smiled. It was just that. At his desk, an old man with gray hair was standing there, looking at the principal who held the report, nodding while giggling. He looked like a fool. Can you stop moving about while reading the report? The old man sighed. This is the style of the leader. The principal was unconcerned. He he. The old man sneered, he could not be bothered with him, but said instead, this morning, Xia Yu and the rest exchanged the certificate for professional guidance. I believe that after this training, their capabilities will be improved. Very good. The principal was satisfied. What about Lu Ming? Lu Ming has been staying outside the school and he did not come to school today, the old man replied. Who do you think he will choose? The principal asked suddenly. His biggest problem right now is his foundation, the old man thought before continuing, if he wants to improve as soon as possible, he will definitely choose the teacher who is the best in drawing basic lines. For example, me. The old man puffed his chest proudly. He he, the principal sneered. Have you forgotten that I am the strongest card creator in the college? But your foundation is not as good as mine. The old man would not spare a glance at him. He had specialized in the basic foundations for more than ten years. There were very few people who could surpass him. There was no one in the vocational college, as well as in all of Qingming City who could surpass him in his strong foundation in basic lines, particularly the loser in front of him who sucked in the foundations. I am the strongest card creator in the college. The principal was furious. But your foundation is not as good as mine, the old man sneered. I can impart more card creating knowledge to Lu Ming. The principal was unconvinced. But your foundation is not as good as mine, the old man sneered. I will be stronger in the future, you have no room for improvement. The principal refused to admit defeat. But your foundation is not as good as mine, the old man sneered. The principal. Dot. Can we not talk about this? The principal was speechless. Although he was gifted, he indulged himself and had spent his time having fun when he was young and did not get into a good school. It was only later did he realize the problem and started to work hard, surpassing the old dot timers to become the principal. However, basic lines had always been his weakness, especially after he became stronger. It was not easy to change what he used to learn for his basic lines. All the cards were based on the foundation. All the cards that he learned and all the lines that he used were closely related to the basic lines. What were basic lines? It was not simply the strokes that one saw on the surface. Instead it was the stability, 
control and flow of the energy in every stroke. All these skills were needed for creating cards in the future. Every basic line was different. What about card creating techniques? In general, it was a formula derived from the calculation of many basic lines. Therefore, if one were to change a single basic line, one had to start from scratch to learn all the card creating techniques. It would be even more difficult to change the more high dot level techniques. Therefore, he could only give up. Furthermore, in his opinion, one only needed to follow the standard for the basic lines. His lines were considered as fairly good among all the card creators. What was the point on spending so much time to reach excellence? For example, the person right in front of him. Humph. He had practiced for many years but he was only a three-dot start card creator. At the thought of this, the principal suddenly remembered the anguish and resentment from the conversation just now. He felt energized and shouted, you are just a three-dot start card creator. He had decided that he would rebut him using this sentence regardless of the comments the old man made. The old man cast him weird glances before he said slowly, but I am your father. Old man Jiang, no personal matters in school. The principal was enraged. Despite not talking about personal matters, I am still your father. The old man said in a low voice. Do you believe that I will fire you? The principal was flustered and exasperated. Even if you fire me, I am still your father. The old man sneered. Old man Jiang, don't bully me. The principal was in a violent rage. Jiang Feng, are you disacknowledging your father? Old man Jiang refused to back down. The two of them glared at each other, neither one was willing to back down. He he, Jiang Feng sneered. I am a good son. I won't argue with my father. Anyway, the decision is with Lu Ming. I shall see who he chooses in the end. I shall wait and see as well. Old man Jiang was unconcerned. The office was quiet again. Jiang Feng looked at the report in his hands, he stopped when he read about Teacher An. This teacher. Jiang Feng frowned. He had no idea what was on his mind. Old man Jiang noticed that he stopped while looking at the report on Teacher An, you should give Teacher An a little help. Help him with what? Jiang Feng frowned. I have given him his deserved salary. His children's abilities are average, they have to pay a price if they want to surpass others in the starting line. Old man sighed. I am just reminded of myself in the past. Jiang Feng paused momentarily. In fact, he understood as well. Back then, if old man Jiang had given up on cultivating and grooming him, he would not be a principal today. Although he was naughty and mischievous and he did not go to a good school, he succeeded through working hard and surpassing the old dot timers. Although it was important to have talent, training resources were just as important. And the price they paid that was that old man Jiang was forever a three dot start cultivator. I understand. Jiang Feng looked solemn. I will consider the matter regarding teacher and seriously. That's good. Old man Jiang was relieved. He was afraid that his son would fire teacher and in a peak of anger. In that case, I will give teacher and a helping hand, so you should let me have Lu Ming. Jiang Feng changed the topic. Impossible. Old man Jiang was furious. It's best that I guide him. You are too weak and you can only teach him the basics. What about the rest? Jiang Feng roared. Wasn't I the one who taught you? Old man Jiang was enraged. Did you starve? Jiang Feng was speechless. He suddenly realized that old man Jiang was much better than him at being argumentative. Right then. His assistant walked inside. He coughed when he caught sight of the father and son who were quarreling. Well. Lu Ming's certificate has turned up. Oh. The father's and son's eyes lit up. Did he choose me or the old man? Jiang Feng asked. Ah. Uh. 
The assistant hesitated. N. Neither did he choose other card creators. Jiang Feng was confused. Could it be that he picked one randomly? Old man Jiang was full of doubts. After all, the both of them were the best in card creation in the college. One had the best comprehensive skills in card creation while the other was the best in the foundation. Not really. The assistant paused before smiling bitterly. He sold the certificate. Jiang Feng was dumbstruck. S. sold it. Yes. The assistant felt helpless as well. He gathered all the students at the Faculty of Card Creation and auctioned your sign certificate. Jiang Feng was bewildered. The college had a long history, but he had never heard of someone who would auction the certificate that was an honor given to them by the college and could be exchanged for professional teaching and guidance. This. What did this mean? Dot P.S. This chapter will lead to other developments. So I had to write it. But I will not tell you what it will lead to. Ha ha ha. Chapter 30 Integration Integration You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 30 Integration Integration Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Downtown Area Inside the Shop Lu Ming woke up in good spirits. After resting for two days, he had returned to his peak. During this time, his sister gave him a call, telling him to work hard on cultivating, saying that he had done well, and she would prepare a present for him. Lu Ming thought for a long time but could not guess what it was. Could it be his sister's stockings? Lu Ming thought morbidly. Of course. It was just a joke. He supposed his sister would not ever wear a dress or something similar in this life. In her words, she said that it would affect her from displaying her combat skills. Well, she was very strong and violent. Well, since his sister had already settled the issue with the lunar shadow card, Lu Ming had nothing to worry about. It's time to improve my capability. Lu Ming stretched. Now that he had recovered mentally and physically, he had many things to do, particularly in regards to improving his capability. What happened at the mine was indeed very dangerous. Although he had made it back alive, when he thought about it, one could encounter dangers even during an internship that was supposed to be safe. If so, what about other circumstances? There was also the accident that happened not long ago on the neighboring street. There was no real safe place in this world. Lu Ming had a very thorough understanding of this sentence. Become stronger. Lu Ming was determined. It just so happened that he received a huge sum of money from selling the certificate that the school gave him. Cough. There was no other way. Lu Ming had gone on a totally different path because of the lightning original card. He also had a more suitable cultivation method. Teacher guidance. Not necessary. Moreover, the teachers at their school had limited abilities. They were usually three-dot-start cultivators. They had the lowest capability among all the teachers in high school. Even if the teachers guided him, he might not be able to learn anything. What could he do about it? He was desperate too. This was Lu Ming School, the vocational technical college at the crossroad at Qing Ming City. It was one notch lower than the vocational college at the Five Ways Crossroad. Therefore, under normal circumstances, Lu Ming would not waste his waste time in school. Well, let's not bother about the school for now. Anyway, the credits given by the school as compensation were more than enough for him to skip school. It is more important to improve his capability. Lu Ming's heart stirred slightly. He had too many things that he wanted to do right now. For example, cards integration. He had always been very curious. 7. Brutal charge would integrate to form 1. Rampaging bull's encirclement. Then what would 7. Rampaging bull's encirclement integrate to become? He was excited at the thought of it. Through integrating the cards, his cultivation speed would increase by leaps and bounds. 
higher difficulty level of cards. Faster cultivation speed. This was what Lu Ming wanted. He had reached a faster cultivation speed with Rampaging Bull's Encirclement. If he integrated the cards again, perhaps it would transform and his cultivation speed would soar to another heights. It's worth a try. Lu Ming was slightly excited. The shop had not been opened for seven days. He decided to close it for now and to get ready the materials he needed to get the answer that he had been wanting to know. Cards, energy. All ready. Buzz, he called upon the original card once again. Dissipate. Lu Ming dissipated all the lines on the original card. This was because the lines on the original card were basically seven brutal charge cards, instead of a complete rampaging bull's encirclement. If he was to start over. He thought about it and created a few rampaging bull's encirclement cards. He would use one of the cards as a reference design plan in case he forgot how to draw the lines. He would integrate the other cards together. Come on. Lu Ming was ready. Shush. One rampaging bull's encirclement card was activated and it turned into a burst of lights. When it was about to evolve into herd of bulls, it landed on Lu Ming's original card. Buzz, a touch of brilliance flashed. All the lights in the room vanished instantly. The original card in Lu Ming's hands gave off a different radiance. The lines had appeared. On the back of the original card was the familiar 300 lines. On the front. Lu Ming took a look and was ecstatic. The Rampaging Bull's Encirclement was a comprehensive ability and after it was absorbed, it only took up one part of the lightning crack on the card. This meant that it could be integrated. Great. Lu Ming was overjoyed. Bang. He activated another Rampaging Bull's Encirclement card. The energy released by the card landed on the original card again, and in this moment. Buzz, there was a flash of light on the card. The lines had changed. Done. Lu Ming looked on with surprise. He was at a loss for words. The lines had evolved. The energy requirement of the card seemed to have increased. Two parts of the lightning crack on the front of the card were being filled up. However, to his surprise, the changes seemed to be different from what he imagined. There was only a small part of the 300 lines of the original Rampaging Bull's encirclement that were changed. There were still a total of 300 lines. The number of lines did not change. Well. Lu Ming sensed carefully. The energy requirement had doubled. It would require twice the energy to use the card. Nothing more. What does this mean? Lu Ming was a little puzzled. Therefore. Did it mean that this integration was purely an ad? On to the original. Wait a minute. Lu Ming rubbed his head, reorganizing his thoughts. He could see the lines of the original card clearly. For example, the lines for Rampaging Bull's Encirclement card had been separated into three parts. The first part was the energy module, it had an energy level of 300 points. The second part was the function module. It could gather seven bulls. The third part was the attack module. It would direct the attack. And now what? What was the effect of the integration? Hee <laughs> hee. 300 points had been changed to 600 points, and 7 bulls had been changed to 14 bulls. It was simple and violent. That was why there was no significant changes in the lines. There were only some fine changes in it. Must be freaking kidding me. Let me think for a while. Lu Ming was deep in his thoughts. He remembered that this was not what happened during the first integration. At that time, with the continuous integration of Brutal Charge, the lines continued to evolve, and finally they became the 300 lines of the Rampaging Bull's Encirclement. Why did they not change now? Perhaps. The lines for Rampaging Bull's Encirclement card had been optimized to the limit. Or perhaps, the 300 lines were too powerful. 
No matter how many bulls there were, it could easily change the outcome by making small changes to the lines. Or perhaps. This was the best outcome. The card had the simplest finalized lines. There was no need for it to get more complicated. Lines. Herds of bulls. Lu Ming was deep in his thoughts. He touched the lines on the cards gently. Perhaps the lines are really at their best. Or perhaps it could keep fine dot tuning to become stronger. However, the energy that the 300 lines can withstand is limited. Once the amount of energy that needs to be absorbed or the number of bulls gathered exceed the limit. What will happen then? Lu Ming felt energized. Let's continue. Buzz, another, rampaging bull's encirclement, card was activated. Absorbed. The lines changed slightly, but it was still a total of 300 lines. Impressive. Lu Ming was in awe. The energy requirement had changed from 300 points to 900 points, while the number of bulls increased from 7 to 20. This was the most cruel form of line optimization. Again. Whoosh. Whoosh. Lu Ming kept activating the cards and the lines kept changing. 27 bulls. 35 bulls. The bulls kept increasing, testing Lu Ming's limits. Everything remained constant except that the total number of bulls kept increasing. Just when Lu Ming felt like giving up, the seventh card was integrated once again. Whoosh! There was a flash of light. The lines on the original card were totally transformed. Buzz, a surge of energy burst through. Lu Ming widened his eyes and looked at the lines that were newly formed on the back of the card. It had changed. All of the lines had changed. Dot the seven, rampaging bulls encirclement, cards seemed to have reached the limit of the 300 lines, and they transformed into brand new lines. There were only 100 lines. However, the lines were intertwined in the most bizarre ways. This was. Lu Ming widened his eyes. Sure enough, when the energy requirement of the herd of bulls exceeded the limit of the 300 lines, the lightning original card evolved and finally optimized again. The 100 lines were intertwined and they appeared neatly on the card. It looked clean and tidy. It was no longer complex and revolving. It no longer seemed like maze-like roots. There was no longer the need to draw an energy line carefully to the end, for fear that it would overlap with other lines. The lines were intersected. This was the real card creating technique. In general, one had to master the card creating techniques to be a real card creator. Of course. This was all on the back of the original card. On the front. Lu Ming took a look and was dumbfounded. What the hell was that? 